Hey everyone, Cody here from The Soul Redeemed. And I wanna look at the question, can the gift of tongues be faked? The short answer is yes. It, unfortunately, it happens all the time. Uh, just like many other gifts, uh, the gifts of healing or prophecy, many people have used this um, in many, I would say, not so great ways um, and for different reasons. I mean, there's a lot of reasons that sometimes people abuse or fake a gift. You know, maybe it's uh, peer pressure. Maybe they feel like they're, you know, other people have this gift and or they, they grow up in a church where that gift is very prominent. And so they feel this pressure to fit in to that group or to that, that crowd. And so they feel like they have to have it. So they'll fake that they have it. And tongues is probably one of the easier gifts to fake because if you don't have it, you could just kind of make noise up. And if other people are faking it, they're not going to know any different. Um, so maybe it's peer pressure or maybe uh, it has to do with the fact that you're being coerced into doing it. So maybe you're, you know, maybe you, unfortunately you grow up in a, a family or you go to a church where not only is it just encouraged, but it's actually forced so you basically have to do it in order to be a part of that that sect or that church or you know even in your own family you can be ostracized if you don't do it um and again it, it kind of goes along with the peer pressure so sometimes maybe people are coerced but the worst i would say probably offense for reason why people fake the gift of tongues is for personal gain you know, there's something about speaking in tongues that, yes, it is weird, especially to outsiders, but more so in the Christian circles, if you can speak in tongues and other people can't, you almost look holier. And so because it's a spiritual gift and it's in the Bible, you know, a lot of people will kind of equate that to, hey, this person is more spiritually gifted than me. And so, you know, they're able to maybe manipulate people or get them to think that you know think a certain way about them it's almost like people who wear glasses we tend to think that people who wear glasses are smarter we just kind of equate glasses to smarter not you know that that their eyes are broken uh like for me so ultimately you know can they be faked yeah um unfortunately it's faked all the time so how do you kind of deal with that or, or what's the remedy well ultimately if you don't know any better, maybe ask them. You know, if, if you're kind of unsure, uh, you could simply just say, hey, um, you know, are you confident in, in speaking in tongues? Um, if you could also, you know, maybe ask a pastor or something. Now, if they're just doing it personally and it's not affecting anyone, you may just leave them alone. Maybe they are speaking it or you just can't tell. Um, but ultimately, if it if it's very clear that they're not speaking in tongues, they're just making something up to either get attention or to mock Christianity or whatever it is, at that point, maybe you just need to ask them like, hey, um, why are you doing this? Um, ultimately, you know, they, they might come up with their own version or reason or whatever it is. And, you know, you can kind of go from there. You know, if they're not a real Christian and they're just doing it to make fun of Christianity, maybe just tell them like, hey, you know, I don't, you know, I think this is disrespectful. But if they are Christian and they're doing it and you know they're just faking it, ask them what their reason is. You know, don't just kind of attack them. Approach it from kind of an empathetic point of view to, to figure out what it is that um, is causing that. So that would be kind of my suggestion, but you could also pray about it and see if God gives you something about them for doing it. So ultimately kind of coming back to the question, can the gift of tongues be faked? Yes, it can. Just like many other gifts are faked for whatever reason. Uh, ultimately, um, I actually just put a small book together of that answers a bunch of questions about the gift of tongues. Um, and it's called the voices of the spirit. If you want to check it out, it's a couple bucks and there will be a link somewhere around this video to it. Um, you can also check out my book, how to pray out loud. If you're interested in becoming, getting better at praying out loud, but it also, that book also talks about my, um, instances of the spiritual gifts and how I was kind of inundated with a bunch of gifts at once and how God kind of did that for me. Um, and I just like to share that story. So if you want to check those out, there'll be links somewhere around this video or in the bio or wherever you're watching. Um, but I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.